All right, what's poppin' y'all? I'm super excited to show off these custom new Alolan forms. In this case, it is Manectric, uh, Electric, and even an, uh, a Mega Manectric. They all got some custom new forms uh, that are now fire type. Uh, before I get into, you know, showing these off and giving my opinions on them and, and you know, my thought process, and then the second half of the video, uh, if you look at the timestamps down below, the second half of the video is gonna be the in-game, like, explanation, like the, the mechanical stuff, like, uh, they're basically showing off their, their tools, like their abilities, move pool, stats, all that fun stuff, and also explaining how they actually function in the ROM pack itself. Uh, the first half of the video after the intro is going to be the, you know, typical showcase. I'll show you guys what they look like, talk about my experience making them. Uh, I actually had very little part in making these ones out of the 10 forms. Uh, I made seven of them, like six or seven, seven, basically seven. Yeah. Um, my friend Yub made most of these. The only work I did was the concept, the color scheme, kind of, and then um, the electric, the pattern on his head. I made that because uh, Yub was, was not good at doing the patterns. But before I get into any, anything about the logistics or the idea behind the form, uh, I do want to have a disclaimer for anybody who's new here to check out the description down below. You can download the ROM hack uh, in my Discord server. You can ask, you know, you can join my community. It's a pretty active community. Uh, you can look at the Google Sheet for yourself and see all of the Pokemon changes and all the other awesome stuff in the ROM hack. And um, you can check out a video that kind of explains what Sweltering Sun is and how the game works a little bit better uh, than I can explain in this video because not, that's not what this video is about. So, uh, yeah, with all that being said, though, uh, these guys. So I'm gonna say it right now. They're my least favorite of the ten forms. Do I dislike them? No. I think Manectric especially is the cool. Is pretty damn cool. Uh, how about I say it like that? I don't know. <laughs> cool. It's pretty cool. Um, I like them, but I don't like the Electric. And that's the shiny. Uh, there you go. That's what the shiny looks like. Um, I guess I'll show it now. Um, pretty cool. I mean, I basically just tried to mimic base Manectric's color scheme with the shiny. This shiny is, is ugly as hell, but we, I could not get it to look good with the hue shift and I didn't care enough to like individually replace colors for the shiny because I just, I hate Electric. One thing, uh, this has made me hate Electric, all right? I don't like Electric <laughs> anymore. I never liked it to begin with. He's got a big ass head, but I really don't like this Mon now. Um, it was a pain in the ass to do a texture for for the head and just my friend spent a lot of time like trying to map out the texture and what corresponds to what. And it's just ugly and it didn't come out looking good in my opinion because I don't love the color scheme on it. Oh God, the shiny's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough enough slander of the electric. Uh, mini oh yeah, that's the mega. I was gonna show y'all later. That's the shiny mega. I was gonna show y'all in battle, so I could do that real quick while I talk. But um, yeah, these are my least favorites, but that doesn't mean I dislike them. And if you like them, that's great. I mean, that's what I want. I want people to like them. Um, I oh shit. I personally just don't love these. I think the other ones are a lot more interesting and creative. Um, but I like this minectric especially. I love the colors of it because the black is like smoke, and then the back legs are like fire. Like, it's like a fireball almost. And then the front legs are like an explosion. And then the top head part is like electricity, you know? So I guess you can kind of think like he stores his fire and electricity in different parts of his body or whatever. Um, if you are curious, I do have uh, Pokedex entries written for all these guys uh, in my Discord server as well. I'm not going to read them out here. But um, if you're curious, you can go check that out and see what they are. Um, that's the Mega. I think the Mega looks pretty cool. The sad thing is that uh, my friend couldn't get a gradient to work on the pattern. Um... So that's pretty sad, but otherwise it looks pretty dope. Because um, the lightning bolt gradient just didn't end up working. It didn't look good um, at all. Yeah, I'm going to run away. All right. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So, yeah. Um, that's how the Manectric looks. That's how the Mega looks. It's pretty dope. Uh, they got really awesome tools in-game. But, yeah, that's kind of why we went with that color scheme. Black and red, black and yellow. I think it works well with the typing. Uh, oh, let me... My bad. I should probably switch this back. Although, honestly, I'm just going to switch off of it anyways. Because I think that's pretty basically all I really want to say for the inspiration. It's pretty self explanatory. Fire, you know, fire electric, manectric, like the guy already learned some fire type moves. Uh, as for why I decided to give this one a form, uh, I personally thought manectric was pretty bland in Sweltering Sun. It was very strong. I mean, it's good. I mean, it had great abilities. It kept kept two of those abilities out of the four. Um, it already had Intimidate and Speed Boost, and it, you know, it had good stats and all that stuff. It just was kind of bland to me. Like, it's just a boring pure electric type. All the other pure electric types were more interesting to me. Um, besides Jolteon, which I don't like the evolutions, I'm very, yeah. Um, but besides Jolteon, they're all more interesting to me. So now I think, I, you know, I just, I also thought that it would blend to a good regional form. Like, its design, like, can be 
made into a regional form just based off of re recoloring it essentially because that's all the texture changes it's a lot more complicated for some of these but in this case it is just like a recolor with a gradient um which takes a lot of time but it's not as like complicated as the other ones um if that makes sense um but yeah with that being said i can now move on to the second half of the video which is the in my opinion more important part i mean i don't know that's what you're here listen what you're uh, what you're here for but uh yeah, let me open up the dues decks. Oops. Open that up. And let me also type in my neck trick. And I will show off. Oh, God, I got. Don't let us get a comment on. Wait, let me not. Let me not. Let me not. Let me, let me, let me not. Let me not. Um, read, read comments live when I'm making a damn video. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's talk about this part. All right. Let's zoom out a little bit so I can get everything on the in frame, or at least most of it in frame. I'm not gonna crop it too perfectly. I mean, doesn't eh? I guess I could. It takes two seconds. I might as well just boom, and then, and then I can zoom out more. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> All right, this is good enough. Whatever. Um, so electric fire. Uh, you would be surprised as to, as to how good of a defensive typing electric fire is. It has some really, really really good resistances um i'm not gonna pull it up a list right now because i don't have it ready and i don't want to dox myself by opening up a random browser um tab i don't have to re-record the video to fix that so whatever your point is you can google all i mean it has a lot i could list them all right now i don't feel like it but there, it's got like i think it's over like eight resists it's really nice um and you have intimidate which uh the mega had i just swapped it from the mega into the base form um because it's more useful in the base form in my opinion because you can pivot easier it's nicer for the early on early on in the game before you get megas um and it's just nice to have that utility on the base form in my opinion i think the mega can be i mean it's still partially utility because of electric surge but also like it's just more offensive um and instinct essentially functions like download as you saw in the preview um it's very powerful offensively a pokemon like this would be crazy and competitive but it, this is not balanced around competitive so it's, it fits right in with you know this game and the power levels in this game it's strong um, but there are a million other strong Pokemon that are also fast or can counteract their speed with Quick Claw or Toy Scar for priority moves that are everywhere. So, point is, um, nothing too crazy, but it is very strong, obviously. Um, Instinct will give it a special attack or physical attack boost, and the good thing about that is you can actually, um pick and choose when you want to run that and you can pick and choose what you switch into and you can already plan like you can plan out the whole fight and know exactly what type of special attack or attack boost you're going to get and that's really useful because this is a very strong mixed attacker with some really good uh well first of all dual stab is already great uh, defensively it's got a great typing and then offensively it's a great combo as well um and people in before the comments oh it has a four times ground and so it's what do you mean it's good defensively uh especially in a rom hack where you're fighting ai where it's very predictable what they're going to go for for the most part having weaknesses is not nearly as big a deal as having resistances you can easily work around weaknesses by you know having a decently well-rounded team like literally any ground resist on your team would be fine to then pivot out or you can just outspeed and kill the mon that has a ground move you know whatever it is um but yeah uh Weaknesses are very overrated in, in, in Nuzlocke's and in-game. Obviously, in competitive, it's a different issue, but even then, this is still a good typing. I mean, you know how Rotom Beat is pretty solid and competitive if you want to make that comparison. But uh, I'm getting sidetracked. Point is, very fitting abilities. Instinct fits, you know, pretty much any, like, most Pokemon. It fits, like, especially, like, aggressive or energetic-looking Pokemon. And this guy literally has a whole last lightning bolt, so, of course, it fits him. Um, speed boost into Instinct is really cool. You can essentially switch in go for a protect or get a kill off uh, without mega evolving and get a speed boost and then mega evolve it's kind of overkill because we have 140 base speed as mega but the good thing is you can actually afford to run uh max attack and max special attack so you can actually hit on both ends of the spectrum versus a boss fight and you can get like a kill you wouldn't be able to get otherwise so for example you switch it in you protect or whatever you want to do uh to get that speed boost and then 140 base speed uninvested at plus one still outspeeds like everything so you can then fully invest into your offenses and go like fully commit to that mixed attacking uh thing because they have very powerful stab moves on both sides especially later on in the game you get stuff like blazing assault so the way i balance a lot of these mixed attackers is their lower attacking stat i give them moves earlier to compensate so you're more inclined to use it outside of the versatility outside of the fact that your ivies in nature could change that which uh which one you want to use you know um yeah so you also have access to infinite usability capsules in this game so you can switch between intimidate and speed boost electric surge and instincts whenever you want uh electric is very good for the early game i mean it's all the all, all mods are it's kind of by design but um Electric, you know, it's got nice resist, it's strong, it's fast, it's just got a lot of nice tools. Um, it's got nice debuffing moves, heal moves, 
you know, recharge, parablock charge, all that fun stuff you can mess around with for Mele Mele Island. And it'll evolve pretty early into Akala Island, and then you'll get the Mega Waiter on uh, when you want to use that. But uh, you don't even have to use every boss fight, especially with base form having speed boost and intimidate. If you're using it defensively, you don't have to Mega. If you're using it offensively, you don't have to Mega. A lot of Megas are kind of balanced around that in this game. They're more of like an optional upgrade, and a lot of the time, having your actual item slot is just better because of how in-game prep works. You're not prepping uh, against you know a real human being where you don't know what they're going to bring. It's kind of like Draft League in the sense that you can counter everything with your abilities, with your items, with your move set, um, which is kind of why the game is balanced around not switching out your team members. Uh, obviously, if you want to play that way, you can, but if you want like a, the best challenge or like the more intended way to play, you can check out the Google Sheet and read about Team Lock Nuzlocke or check out my streams uh, linked down below. Uh, in my YouTube channel. Why did I say down below? They're my YouTube channel. <laughs> and you can figure out what the, what those are all about. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other really fun stuff. Like Electro Ball gives you plus one speed now. Um, and it gets even stronger. So the initial hit is going to be relatively weak no matter what. Because of the way that the damage is calculated. Um, I can't change that part. But I can make it boost your speed. So the second hit is going to be really strong. Because you get plus one speed from the move. And then you get plus one from speed boost. So you can become really fast and strong with uh, Electro Ball. Very fun move to use at this month. You can use that under electric terrain or with speed boost into instinct to get a special attack boost and spam electro ball for a bit um, obviously things are still going to force you out or outspeed you or maybe not outspeed you but things are still going to force you out or you won't be able to one shot everything or whatever it is but you can definitely try for certain boss fights for sure um but yeah i was saying earlier i gave them physical moves earlier so that way like for example flare bliss and volt tackle at 39 is like very early that's earlier that's earlier i can't speak <laughs> That's earlier than you get the wild charge TM. Um, that's how like early it is. So that really encourages the use of a stronger physical attacking set because Flare Blitz, for example, at level 39 is going to do way more damage than Flamethrower or even Heat Wave in the mid 40s would do. Um, Burn Up is really strong though, so that's kind of like the trade off. Burn Up is also really good early on, so they're both really good. But um, yeah, you can use them on a bunch of different ways. Defensively, you've got Intimidate, Parting Shot. You've got Nuzzle early on, which drops attack, special attack, and paralyzes. You've got, you know, Recharge, which heals you by a little bit, and then it heals you by a third, and then you get Charge effects. So you double your electric move. You've got, uh, you know, a bunch of nice debuffing moves like Buffed Scary Face, and you've got uh, Battle Cry at 35, which is really good for Totem Togunamaru and Totem Mimic You. That'll drop special attack and attack by minus two. So if your team needs a debuff move, and you don't have one that's like that, you know, Intimidate. Fire Electric plus Battle Cry is a really nice combo with Parting Shot if you want to run that as well. Um, you can also try something like Howl uh, because it's a mixed attacker that gives you plus 2 attack and special attack. It's only 1 PP. It also gets Nasty Blood and Swords Dance, but those are also still 1 PP. And setup in general is pretty hard to pull off. However, I would say if you needed to set up or you wanted to try, this is one of the better mods to do it with because Speed Boost versus AI is still pretty easy to cheese. Like, it's still difficult for some fights. Like, some fights will be unsweepable just because of the way I set them up with the moves I gave them or the items. Uh, unless you have a lot of uh, prep beforehand, but uh, overall, this is one of the better setup sweepers, I guess, if you wanted to try that in uh, in, in in game. Um, and yeah, tons of great attacks. It's just a really fun mod overall. Uh, its defensive stats might not look that good, like 70-70 looks kind of middling, but when you consider all the resistances plus intimidate plus the fact that you have access to instant EB trading options, so you can easily just switch, you know, max HP, max defense, boom, now you're like a physical wall at that point. You tank physical hits easily, um, and you can go to the hell denim buffs and you can see that a jack button got changed so you can essentially use a jack button to get free intimidate pivots um forever for the rest of the fight for the whole boss fight it's kind of cut off from my camera right now but you can, you can get the idea um and yeah that's pretty much about it i don't think i need to go too much more in detail there's a lot of other really cool things you could try with this mod but i'm not gonna go super in depth i don't want this to be that long um I mean, I guess like Roar, great for uh, the dull battles in the game um, because it's priority, so it's 3pp, and you can essentially force that one side of the field. That's a very useful tool for Guzma and for other boss fights like that that are double battles. Uh, only the second Guzma is a double battle, but you get the point. Um, yeah, a whole bunch of crazy changes, all these you know great moves. You can check out what all these do in the description down below for yourself. I would highly recommend it if you don't, if you, you know, this is your first impression, pun not intended, of the game because um, those are all really important to check out. But you can also, you know, all the in-game move descriptions are updated too, so you can just learn as you play if you want to just play casually. It's up to you. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I mean, I guess last thing I'll say, late game, you've got stuff like Blazing Assault, Electro Assault early on. Those are 150 base power spammable moves, so essentially those deal recoil and drop your defenses. Meanwhile, something like Zap Cannon and Blast Burn comes off your higher special attack stat, but it works like Draco Meteor, so it drops your uh, special attack by minus two, which is still incredible. Like, I would run that too. But Blazing Assault, Electro Assault are more spammable. You can kill two things in a row. While with Blast Burn and Zap Cannon, you still can kill two things in a row, but not not as easily. Um, 
So that's kind of the benefit there. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I appreciate y'all for listening this far in. If you did listen this far in, comment um, Blastburn down in the comments. All right, appreciate you. And I'll be back for more coming up. Peace.